jump into this one, which is, I believe, on low water. And there's a blow up in here. So, very, very weird scenario. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out, so because they've stretched the screen in the HD collection, you see at the top and the bottom of the screen, it's stretched like the top few pix pixels because it's not big enough for the screen. Yeah, another reason why it's a shitty HD remaster. I believe it's actually on the left here. That barrel. There it is. Okay. I, think, I don't remember where the next one is, but I, I will trust the guide. All the red orbs. Into another room. And we've got to fight these guys now. Oh my god. What's even the fucking point? Jesus Christ. I don't even know if they have range, range attacks, so like... I don't know if that works. Maybe I was doing that exploit where you, you can like block them and then instantly kill them. Cause it do yeah, I think that's what's going on. I wonder why I was killing them so fast. Jesus Christ, that was so easy. <laughs> it wasn't even a challenge, why do you even block the door? The block door is more of a challenge than that. Alright, so in here is supposedly where the blue orb is. I think I remember where it is now, so we've got to use this. Fills the room with water and just fly to the top. We're on a time limit, it is going to go down soon. And you want to stick close to the wall now. Stay by the very top. Yeah, there we go. First off, I'm going to get this. Fell officer's egg. Not exactly like the fell officer's stone. And where is the blue orb actually? It should be around here. Oh, there should be a ledge somewhere that has a blue orb. Let's have a look. Around here? Is it underneath the ledge? Hmm. Actually, we're going to swap back to Ifrit right now. Because we're going to need it for the next boss. It's going to be Nightmare again. And Ifrit's ability is like that. It's super good. Maybe it's not so high up, the, um, the blue orb. Have a look. I believe the stairs are blocked at a certain point. Why you have to use the you have to swim up. Keep an eye out. Oh, I don't see it. Right, let's try swimming around until we can see it. Look there. Yep, it was there. Okay, and we've increased the life bar. You try and get on top of this. Oh my god, it's freaking out. Fuck out. There we go. Yes, it's on here. But you should be able to drop down once you reach the top. There. There it is. Cool. And now we get up to the door, midway up the tower. And there's a boss on the other side of the room somewhere. Where's the door? There it is. Let's wait for the room to deflood. God, it looks so cool. The, the style of this game, so good, so gothic. I love it. Up down. Throw the egg in the fire. There's something engraved. Those who seek the truth shall put the egg in the basket, and shall warm it slowly with care. It will become a blue stone and a landmark to the rough roads. Remember when we interacted with the puddle and the in the mirror in the bedroom, it said about the blue stone. So that's why we're going to take it. It may take some time for it to transform, and in the meantime, we have our entertainment. Nightmare. So you can shoot it, doesn't damage. You get some devil trigger, it's just spitting some shit at us. I'm going to try and keep the double trigger up at all times. 
Nope. Nope. You can hit it when it's doing that, but I want to save it for when it spikes because you get more. Fuck. Draining my double trigger. That. Don't it wrong. Got it that time. I can double trigger it, just so much more damage. You see, if we had. Oh, right, he's got us. Right, we're gonna fight a boss anyway. If we had, we had more of the double trigger gauge, then it would drain less, I presume. Oh, great, it's Griffin, my favourite. Good news is we'll be keeping uh, Ifra on. We can meteor it as soon as it spawns. Because right now it's not real. Once we're taking out the skulls, it becomes real and we can kill it. Where's your boss? There he is. He's gone immortal again. Oh, has he got like uh, boo rules from uh, Super Mario? Oh my god, Alice is far better for the normal combat. Oh, the frame rate, why? Oh, but it's back! So rare that I actually do that. Right. Really, it should be attacking its heart, but fuck it. It's dead. I really need to visit a shop. I don't know where they are. But we've done a fuck ton of damage to Nightmare. Let's switch back to Ifrit. I mean, the worst is on Dante Must Die. When it's caught, it gets exposed. It spits out some like uh, demon shit, which does a lot of damage. And if you use Ifrit, it's like jump attack. It'll knock those back. It's like a parry. No. Uh, Right, got it. Um, look at the damage! One more... Oh my god, like, fucking... Fuck you. <laughs> also, I just realised he has different taunts. You know that. Transformation is complete. But if for it... No, I... Alright. Maybe it's the style meter then. Because when I did the taunt just as uh, Nightmare was dying, he just did the one hand, come on, instead of the two handed, come on. Strange voice from the Transformer Stone is echoing, I am the first key to open the gate to the underworld. The second key resides in the mirror dimension. Elixir. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to have to take it back to the mirror in the bedroom. Into the demon world, or the mirror world, or whatever it wants to call itself nowadays. Mission clear. Oh yeah, the mission clear icon change the text, the effect on it changes depending on what, what weapon you have. So right now it's on fire because we have if Ifrit. Finish with Alistair, it'd be blue. And if we fire it, finish with Ifrit, with um, Sparta, it'd be red. Okay. Do it. So I'll close the end of the game now. It's only like 20 missions, technically 21, I guess. Yeah, it's 21. Power up, let's get the blue orb. Oh, there's one more after that. Cool. Get a purple as well. Open the gate to the underworld. I can do that. Alright, so mission is actually up here, I believe. Oh, here, I guess. Follow the candy. Uh, oh, there it is. Right there. So easy. This. This looks cool, this design. Whatever that is. It's meant to be where... Near, do you remember near the start of the game we had to hit back a... Um, like a, a... What's it called? I guess like a platform, and it reveals like a trapdoor. And then, I think that's the other side of that room, so we have to go down now. 
And the next blue orb is in the bedroom that I'm trying to get to. There's a quick spotter. Just because we can. It looks cool. Look at that, two hits, and it's dead. Oh shit, maybe we're not meant to go back here. Oh, I'm lost already. That no, was the middle room, that's why I was lost. <laughs> oh damn, alright. Portal we go. The elixir is responding strongly to the other painting. Well, yeah, obviously, because like that, this led nowhere before. Alright, so it should be around here. Have a look. Opposite side. Oh, you can get it before. Oh, so we've already got that. So on mirror will. Oh, I remember this one. This one's kind of a pain to get to. The mirror is responding to the elixir, and its reflection is growing eerier. And uh, actually, it has the ripple effect there. It has a texture, but not the actual 3D effect, because it was a 3D effect. Oh, did um, Super Mario Sunshine have that ripple effect? And that was on the GameCube. Now we're in the mirror world. Everything goes back to front, like you, like you would expect. And we go for the door, because that's appeared now. It wasn't there in the real world. Right, so... Jump around. Oh, I think we've got to walk all the way around. You see it? I think you saw it there. There it is, right at the very top. I refuse air raid to fly over there. Actually, oh, I want to swap over to Alistair, but I'm going to keep this on for the fight for Officer's Stone. We have one of the most annoying enemies in the game. And nobody's. Well, I think you can just sting them to death. What you probably should do and Dante must die. At a certain amount of damage, you put on a mask and they grow super big and more powerful. I think you can destroy the mask. And that'll make them weak again. God, they're so weird. Right. I'm showing you the exploit by just stingering. Oh my god, I don't think they're so small and my attacks are missing. I don't think you can actually hit these into the air, just try with that one. And it just like stands upwards. Explode when they die. There's an annoyingly small amount of damage, but it is annoying. Oh fucking no, I thought you were dead. <laughs> Damn it! Trick me. Alright, let's swap to Alistair. I have DT. Oh, I don't have DT. I'll have to use an item. I don't think there's a way of reaching it legitimately. Could hop up here, double trigger. Fly around. Well, I'm gonna have to use a double star. I might have to go even higher. I do actually have to go even higher. Oh, I'm going to have to use another Devil Star. What a waste. Oh, God. I wonder if there are any enemies around that I can go to to recharge it if need be. That is a cool effect. PlayStation 2. It still looks good on the HD. One of the few things that does with the skyboxes. There's an item over here. statue down there. Looks kind of cool. Right, so I think what I actually have to do is uh, you've got to like, sort of judge it, so that, and then we should both get it. Yeah. What an annoying one to get. There is a way to like stinger and get it. Um. Oh my god, there's, there's another one here as well, in the same place as before. Apparently there's one up here. There's you need area to get this one, but I don't believe them, I think. There we go. Wow. Let's be right next to each other. 
impressive. We got it. And that's all for this mission. In fact, there's only one secret mission left now. Oh, I don't think I... What was it on? 21. Okay. Let's do this. Got the philosopher key. We need to go back to... Oh, where do you want us to go? We've got the key. So we interact with something that says you need blue or right, we've got to go back across here. Okay. I'm just remembering. Oh, oh I don't want to fuck this up. One, I've gone through that enough times now. There we go. Right. Through here, interact with the puddle. We'll be able to get to a new place. The surge of evil is reacting to the power of the elixir. It's starting to activate. Oh, of course, we're going to stand in it. Looks us down. There's also a mirror world, but instead of going left to right, it is now upside down. And we're going to enter hell. Evil darkness is a whirling within, with its mouth open. This must be the gate of the underworld. Exciting! <laughs> I love darkness so much. So I use the Philosopher's Stone. Can I even say that word? Philosopher's Stone. There we go. Not good enough. And that opens a portal to the sky, which we saw earlier, and we can just hop down and into the portal. Into hell. God, we're so close to the end now. I think it's only like two more missions. One of them didn't really count. Mission 20. Showdown with Nightmare. Yep. Like I said before, I hate that you have to fight every boss in the game like three fucking times. This will be the third battle with Nightmare. One of the hardest boss battles in the game. Let's do it. Um, it's actually in the mission afterwards for the last secret mission. Oh, and I hate the design of this place. It's very like, you know, an alien lair from the film Aliens. Where it's all like gooey walls with veins and bones. Nope. Nope. Oh, I went back into it. Oh, I stepped off it. Alright, so while it's in there, it's regaining health, so you've got to knock it off. Stop it! I can buy another DT. I'm gonna need it for fighting Nightmare. I want all the DT for when I uh, change the Ifrit. Oh my god, 20 orbs. Or 19 orbs. Oh, so close and so far. Get the camera angles. Change the direction of the controller. So annoying. What a cool arena. All the writing on th in the ceiling. I tripped and I can't get up. Brain her ankle. So we've activated the trap. Hello again, Nightmare. Yeah, there's not much you can really do, Dante. Except stay back. 